How's it going guys and welcome to Gaming Evolved. I'm Shifty Cow and in today's video we're going to be talking about something that's getting closer and closer and that is of course Battlefront 3. So before we get into it, if you guys do go on to enjoy the video, be sure to smack that like button down below. But uh, anyways guys, let's just hop right into it. So the first thing I want to talk about really quickly is the beta, and if you haven't heard already, it's been scheduled for next month, and they decided to go with October because it gives them a little bit of time to make any last minute adjustments, but this should be a mostly finalized version of the game. They still haven't announced how you actually gain access to the beta, so we're not sure yet if it's going to be open, closed, pre-orders only, but what I hope it is is if you pre-order the game, you're going to get it a couple days early, and then after those couple of days are up, it's going to be an open beta for everyone, and personally, that's just kind of my favorite because it incentivizes pre-ordering, which is kind of annoying and stingy, but if you don't want to pre-order and you just want to see how it plays out, then you can go with the open beta and you still have enough time to actually try the game out, so... We haven't really heard too much in terms of what game modes or maps there's going to be, but I have heard that Walker Assault is going to be part of it, and it's probably going to be played on Hoth. So that's pretty much all we know about the beta. Still not sure how long it's going to actually last, and I'm not sure if all the content in terms of weapons and gadgets, I don't think all of that's going to be in there because they're trying to save some of the really cool things for the first day of launch. But anyways guys, that's pretty much it for the beta, and it is fastly approaching. So I wanted to move on and talk about some of the concerns I have with Battlefront, and a lot of people have been talking about this the server browser is not going to be in Battlefront 3. Now, I think they did have a reason for it, and it was just to kind of make gameplay a little bit smoother when you're trying to hop into a round, so it would be a lot faster and just kind of an overall really smooth experience. I think a much better solution was to just leave the server browser in, and then if you're familiar with Quick Join in the Battlefield franchise, Quick Join is pretty awful. Sometimes it works, and it can work pretty well, but other times you'll Quick Join and it'll have some kind of server preset on that you don't want on. Other times it'll join you into completely empty matches, and obviously that's not going to be any fun. So honestly, I think rather than just taking the server browser out, they could have just greatly improved upon Quick Join, and that way people can hop in, make a little party, join into Quick Join, and you wouldn't have to deal with being on separate teams or just being split up or all those types of things. But then if you wanted to record something like a cinematic or you, maybe you wanted to look for Easter eggs or just do a bunch of stuff like that because the Battlefield community is known for doing a ton of stuff like this. Like the entire Phantom program was pretty much totally discovered on private servers by people who were just exploring. You really wouldn't be able to notice these very subtle things nearly as easily if you were on a public match and you had to worry about getting killed. It's really just a lot harder to find Easter eggs and while I don't think they're going to have the level of easter eggs that they have on Battlefield, I still think it's going to be a really good idea to have a server browser in Battlefront 3. So moving on to the next thing I wanted to talk about, a lot of people are concerned that Battlefront 3 is not going to be the same type of game as Battlefront 2, and honestly, I did not play Battlefront 2. I can't speak about all the great game modes, all the characters, how fun things were, if anything was improperly balanced, or I really can't talk about anything like that. But a lot of my friends have played it and they've told me that they missed a couple different game modes. And so there's really just a lot of people kind of concerned about what type of content Battlefront 3 is going for. Because it is pretty much completely controlled by Disney right now. Like DICE is going to be developing it. I think EA is still publishing it. Like I don't think anything in that has changed. But Disney pretty much has the final say in what's going into this game. What they want that's going to be part of the game. What the overall experience is. And then it's DICE's job to develop it. And then it's going to be published on Origin. So that's pretty much how it works in terms Terms of development and so I'm kind of worried about how Disney has their vision of Battlefront 3. Are they trying to go for a more like authentic type of Star Wars? Do they want something that's very reminiscent of Battlefront 2? Honestly we really can't tell until the game actually comes out or at least the beta so that way we can try it out see how it plays out and really I can't see this game being unsuccessful or just completely flopping because first of all it has the word Star Wars in the title so people are going to lap that up whether the gameplay is garbage or not if they know nothing about it if they've been looking up reviews for like three weeks they'll probably just pick it up because it's got the word Star Wars in the name and they'll want to try it out and also I can't really see them putting out a poor product either the gameplay from what it looks like seems really cool like we're still gonna have to wait until the beta but it seems really nice and honestly I doubt they're gonna have the level of netcode instability or problems like that because they really learned their lesson DICE did from Battlefield 4 and all the netcode issues so really, as long as they don't make any kind of insane management issue and, you know, go completely rogue with an idea on Battlefront, I think this is going to be a pretty solid game through and through. They've already told us that there is going to be kind of day one DLC, but it's going to be free for the public two weeks later. So technically, if you want early access, you just can't wait. 
you can download that and play that the first day if you pre-order or if you just want to play it and then wait your two weeks you can do that so either way we're really excited for this game and we cannot wait until the beta comes out but that's pretty much it for this video guys if you did enjoy the video be sure to smack that like button down below and be sure to tell us what you think about battlefront 3 did you play battlefront 2 did you enjoy it do you want it exactly the same or are you excited to see kind of a new direction of battlefront games but uh until next time guys stay buttery